amazing Saturday, an amazing Saturday, a unique Saturday for that matter, the final in 2021 of Fumi and IK IG This is a channel where we motivate, we rekindle the fire of hope. It's a show that has been amazing for the past one year on this show and it's been, all, it's been God Almighty. And I want to say tonight I enter with our song reflection it's indeed the reflection night it's indeed the night to appreciate god's faithfulness hey richie stay good evening i don't need to be go this trend and you join it and it was every one of you she went goes home. This is the love to hear of me. Thank you so much, everyone. Before we start the show, you know how we do on this show. We always have our opening prayer. And I don't do the opening prayer alone. I always invite one or two family members to have the opening prayer with me. Come on, family. She went goes home. I will really appreciate tonight if you are with me tonight on this show to do our opening prayer. She went goes home. I will me tonight. So the opening prayer on this show, the final in 2021. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I hope you're ready for me, my darling. Family, let's pray to Almighty God. And we always do the second verse of Nigerian National Anthem to do our prayer. Come on, it's time, family. Let's pray. <laughs> There's no hiding place for a staff. 
I'm telling you, you cannot hold your candy and put it at the table. It's surely right. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, mommy. <laughs> oh my God, can you just reflect and say one or two things about the show? How the show has been a blessing. Wow, this show has been has been amazing i feel like crying because this is the last one for this year oh my god <laughs> yes I'm crying because my saturdays i'm so i'm so used to you know getting the word for the next week you know oh my god really amazing. <laughs> and i really want to thank you mommy for all that you're doing how you go to extra lengths just to make sure that all of us in Nigeria become better mm. um an amazing, amazing journey, man. Like, Good evening, mother. <laughs> Good evening, mommy. After this show with Bobby Paul, Fumi and Ike Talent Hunt, and after about 15th edition of the show, we went on break to put Sanity to the stage. And coming back with Fumi and Ike Talent Show, we started the Fumi and Ike Talent Show with a woman. I mean, I think I remember the woman. I think, ooh, I am sleeping. The woman? Um... Kaffi, madam. Oh my God, I am proud of you. I am so proud of you. Yes, ma'am. So, the show in 2021. We are also handing it with a woman. Come on, man. Yay. Woo. Woo. Oh my God, you have your 
Family, keep clapping, keep clapping. from the very beginning there's so wow. much joy in this house how come wow. i never knew there was a house like this oh my <laughs> god everybody was just like i was hearing all the praise report all the testimonies all the amazing things you guys have had for an entire year wow and i'm so privileged <laughs> i'm totally humble that i am wrapping up the year's epi- um, edition for you it's such an honor to be here. Thank you so much, uh, Tifumi, oh. for inviting me. My I'm grateful. Mama. I'm grateful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> welcome, Ma. Welcome, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You're so welcome to Efficient Platform, Mama. This is a show where we have been motivating Nigeria youth, showing them the process, the journey of life. And you brought a lot of amazing souls to this show, a lot of wonderful souls. You have some of your some of your friends that have been on this show, Baba Keke, uh, Dega the Falls, Fioki, J1. Please um, mention names, family. You have brought uh, this show, yes. 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 you have brought yes. messages of the now branches, a lot of amazing souls. But tonight, one year Gula Roman Kenny Bale. And my mama tonight is giving me on the final show wow. in 2021. Oh, my God, amazing night. Thank you. <laughs> mama, you have the floor. <laughs> All right. I, I just want to say a big God bless you to everybody that is listening tonight. I always want to tell everybody that... There is no one that God has not blessed. It's only the person that says their own is not enough. Mm. I think what I would speak about tonight is we have to learn or go back to the culture of contentment. Mm. Wow. Mm. In, this, in the past few uh, weeks, 
I have been plagued with a lot of emotional uh, challenges. And I'm beginning to find out that what really gives us problems or troubles us as a people is the fact that we are questioning our achievements. Mm -hmm. And I need our young people to know that God himself is a master of processes. Mm -hmm. You need to know that God himself that created the heavens and the earth, he was a master. He is a master and will continue to be a master of process. process. If God wanted things to happen immediately, then he will not set the process of life in, in motion. A lot of you will know that from creation, when God created everything, he made sure that he puts the seed Inside is creation. That is to guarantee continuity. And we must learn that if you do not allow process, that will result in what I call premature destiny. And a premature destiny means that your destiny has not fully formed. And if you have not allowed your destiny to be fully formed, you can abort your destiny before it comes to a fruition. If somebody gets pregnant today and delivers that baby in two weeks, how many of you think that that baby will survive? survive. It can never survive. Because according to the time of life, a baby is supposed to stay in the womb of a mother for nine months. Nine months. That's a little over maybe about 36 weeks. But I find out that a lot of our youth today, they are giving back to premature destinies, premature aborted dreams, aborted goals, aborted vision. And what happens is that when a woman miscarries, when a woman miscarries, there's a lot of pain, a lot of depression, a lot of anger, a lot a, a loss of self-worth. And I liken those that have aborted destinies like that. Many of you are chasing dreams and goals that you have no business chasing in the now. And because you are not allowing God to cook you completely, you get frustrated. You get angry. You lash out at the society. You lash out at your immediate family. You lash out at your friends, people that love you. And you lash out at your own self. And some of these emotions that you are giving off, you are not hurting only yourself. You are hurting other people that love you. That is why I keep begging young people. I say, please, when you miscarry your dreams and your hope, you are not the only one suffering. Everyone that believes in you is suffering alongside you. And that is why you need to be patient and allow your process come together as it should so that you can reap the complete wholesome fruit of achievement. The amount of talent that God has given every individual is so much. When I, I was trying to learn a little about Atifumi, I see that she's a woman of God. She's a, miss, she's a music and minister. I see construction in one corner. I see cosmetic and beauty in another corner. I see fashion and style in another corner. All this is to show you that we are all created in a multifaceted way. That is how good God is. But you cannot tell me, she has a woman that is in construction. Ask her, can you build a 700 floor building in one week? At all, mama. Hmm. You can never do that. In fact, if there, are so, if there are scientific ways of making that happen, you can be very sure that that house can never, never last. Mm -hmm. I keep begging our next generation that we need to begin to concentrate on the foundation of our lives. Because that is what creates stability for your future. Mm -hmm. If you do not invest in the foundation of your life, and you are just building quickly because you think your friends are making it, they are cutting corners, 
by the time the, 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 the goal and the dream and the vision collapses on you, if you are not careful, it might take your life and you might, it might cripple you. It might handicap you that you are not able to continue in the things that you have set ahead for yourself to do. There's a scripture I love. It says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. You need to know that if you do not hold your, your mind in check, you will be tossed by every wind of doctrine that comes. And those kinds of things remove your joy, kills your hope. And there's a scripture again that says that when hope is deferred, it makes the heart weary. Some of us, it is not even God that is deferring our hope. We are the ones that is deferring our hope. Because you are building where you should not be building. A person that went to put seed in a concrete slab and sat there for 200 years waiting for the germination, who defied that person's hope? Is it God? No, it's ourselves. He has put the seed in the wrong soil. So no matter how long you wait for it, it's not going to germinate. And that is where some people find themselves in these present times that we are. They are putting their seed in the wrong places. And because it's not germinating the way they want it, it makes them lose hope. And it takes away their contentment. They begin to compare the race of others with their own. I love watching Animal Planet. And you know the beauty about animals? Do you know that their functionalities are different from each other? Even in the same family of, of let's say, uh, maybe like leopards, they still have differences. In the family of birds, there are many species. In the families of monkeys, there are many species. And all of them have unique, this unique look, unique disposition, and that is the same way God has created us human beings. For us to be different and unique in our different way. As long as you continue to put your focus on other people's race, you are going to neglect your first assignment. And let me tell you, if you do not do your own assignment, you are still going to score zero in the race of life. Imagine somebody that says he wants to be a doctor. And they said in secondary school, what are your core subjects? You say government, economics, commerce. The only thing you can ever be is doctor of maybe finance. You can never become a medical doctor. No matter how hard you work, no matter how much time you give to study, no matter how you concentrate, you can never, never, never become a doctor of medicine. Not because witches and wizards are on your matter. And that is where we begin to deceive ourselves again. You start to blame people for the failures you brought upon yourself. A person that wants to go to London and went to Cotonou to enter bus, where do you think the bus will take you to? He probably will take you to Cotonou bus stop. You can never get to London by entering a bus going to Cotonou. No matter how great the driver is, no matter how careful the driver is, he can never, never make it to London by entering a bus to Kutulu. We need to get these things in our spirit because a lot of our youths are dying every day, frustrated by their race in life. And they are the ones that are bringing the trouble upon themselves. I met a young man once. This young man is about, let's say, 22. And if me, I asked him, I said, if you had money, what would you like to buy? Do you know what he told me? He said he would like to buy a Lamborghini. I said, a Lamborghini for your first car? 
He said, yes, he's a prestigious car. He's a car that shows class, that shows he has arrived, that shows I have made it. And I laugh because those that drive Lamborghinis, they already have a lot in their car garage. A Lamborghini yeah. is not the motto that you carry to Coco. It's not the car that you are going to carry to Yanoba. You cannot carry your Lamborghini on some of these our roads in Nigeria. <laughs> the maintenance of a Lamborghini is so much that I'm yeah. sure even if he has money, it will cripple him eventually. But what did I learn yeah. from that story? I learned that this young man has unrealistic goals mm. and ambition. Mm. Do you know this young man can be putting in work day and night? trying to get a Lamborghini in his head. But because that is not what he should be putting his focus on, he might be meeting challenges on the way that is frustrating him. He will keep thinking that life is not fair. People do not like me. They don't want me to achieve so much in life. But that is not the issue. The issue is the goals that you set for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh the right topic, the right words, the right, the Comment, right thoughts, the right everything. Sure wow. Like seriously, Content, man. seriously, wow. I love where she started from. That we should have the country right now. Yeah. Because it's contentment. Just, wow. And I love her illustration. I mean, she started with from engineering about construction, how it takes process. <laughs> And then she left construction yeah. in very well to farming. She spoke about if you want to put it, putting it in the wrong soil. Then she left farming yeah. and she went to transportation. Oh my God, it's nice, it's amazing. She taught every it's amazing. area. It's amazing, Mama. I want you back, please. Mm -hmm. Like it's hot tonight. I don't know the soil you're putting your own seed. But I want you to list it more so that you can really get it straight tonight. Yes, what, a way, what a way of ending the show of Fumi and mm -hmm. Kentale in 2021. Telling us to be content with yes, whatever we have. Oh my God, yes. Mama Lolo, I want you back, please. I want you back. I want wow. your network is back tonight. And while waiting for her, mm -hmm. I want to quickly summarize what she has told us on the show tonight. She, she made a lot of lot a lot of lot of examples and she said we must allow our destiny to fully form. We are not in a we are we are not supposed to be in a hurry. We are too much in a hurry. This generation, I don't know our problem. Too much hurry. We want to blow syndrome. We want to make it on time. We don't want to follow process. Oh my gosh, Mama Lolo, I want you back tonight. Oh my God, I want I, please everybody join me to pray every power. What do I say? Every power. We bind it by the light. Oh Lord, we subdue every power of network. Network, we subdue. We say no to every power of network. Mama, we say no. Ah, we subdue. Please, Not possible. Wow. You are fired tonight. You have brought the fire in us. Mm. Oh my yes, God. Let's just give us some time. I believe she'll be back on the show. You just one hour on the show with Fumi and I. <laughs> and I believe she'll be back soon to just run it up with us. But in the middle, we're waiting for him. Mm -hmm. and just quickly summarize this. He said, she said something. She said, mm -hmm. invest in the foundation of our life. Why investing in the foundation of our life? It takes time. It takes process. I love the question she asked me. Fumi Anike, can you build a house in a day? 
And I said, it's not possible. Right. Our life is just like a fan, like a construction process. Our life is like farming. I mean, you want to plant your yam, your maize, your anything. It takes time. It takes time. And I love yeah. my illustrations. She started from the kind of soil that you have. Where, where is your soil? Where are you? What do you think you are doing? Do you think in the right place at the right time? Are you doing the right thing right now? Are you sure that the decision you're about to take is the right decision for this season? Oh my God, what a way of ending the show this year. I want Mama Lolo back. I don't want to be the guest speaker. I want her to finish this speech tonight. Oh my God, everybody, everybody look for her. Tell her we want her back. We want her back. We want her back. We want her back. I'm sure she's going to send me an invite once she's back. Let's give her some time. And then she said, Godliness with contentment is a great grace. Yeah, great game. It's a great grace. Put your mind yeah. in check. I'm, I, I'm not preaching. I am, I'm just here to summarize. I'm actually summarizing what she has told us tonight. Put your mind in check. She said, and I quote, we must stop defying our, our life. I mean, she used so many illustrations tonight. She said we should stop putting our seed in the wrong place. We should stop this thing called comparison race. Eh? I want to be like uh, B. Eh? Eh, why is the B better than this one? Eh? We must do all these things. Yeah, we, should, we must stop comparison. Mama is bad. Let Mama continue this. If I'm so bad, well, today, I'm not so it's not I'm good. Oh my yeah. God, Mama is back, everyone. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Why is she come up right now? Glory to God. Please, let's clap your hands right Glory now. To God. She must finish this show with us. Oh, man. Amazing night. Amazing night. Amazing night. Amazing night. Amazing night. Amazing yes. night. Mama, we want you back. Oh gosh, our uniqueness must be recognized. We must focus on mm. our own assignment. Those are our words tonight. Oh God, yes. Oh God, what are you focusing on? Everyone, what are you focusing? You're about entry 2022. Do you want to do it the same way you did it in 2021? Come on, what are your focus? Mama, I'm inviting you. Please accept this invitation, please. Oh my God, everyone, everyone, join. Let every, let every internet that is working like this right now, we bind it by fire. They shall show us, pray. Amen. Jesus, every part of this network failure, we bind this night in the name of Jesus. We destroy every power field, every network field of tonight. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. We welcome you back, Mama. We welcome you back. We welcome, you must finish this assignment tonight. By fire, you must finish this assignment tonight. Listen to our voice. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. Yes. I'm seeing her. I'm seeing her. I think she's coming out. Yes, she's back. Mama, maybe you just need to quickly update your... Oh, she's back! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, you know, Nigeria internet, I've used all the internet that I have. Welcome back, ma. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Just because tonight, I just want us to like come to a quick conclusion. The amount of grace that God has released upon every one of us is so much that if you focus on your race, you will find out that you don't need to struggle so much. The fact that we are struggling is basically because you are walking a path that you ought not to be walking. And if you continue on that path, it will make your life hard and it will remove contentment and joy from your life. And you need to have those things to be able to forge ahead in this time that we're in. You know, sometimes I'm so sorry for the new next generation. Because it seems that the grace that we enjoyed, they are not even walking the path of grace. They want to walk the path of self. Mm. And so then a, a scripture that I like, it says, having done all these things in the spirit, do you think you can now continue to achieve the rest in the flesh? This is a flesh-ruled generation. And that means it's a dangerous generation. It's a generation that is moved by the desires and and of their flesh. Mm. So we need to know how to draw the boundaries, to draw the lines. Even we that are in this old bracket, trust me, we are struggling too. The boundaries to know the right from wrong is getting harder by the day. But it is only mm. those that are resilient, that are focused, that are diligent, 
that will be able to achieve the purpose of their lives. So please, even if you too don't remember anything I said today, I say, run your race, stay on your lane, be content yes. with what you have. No matter what you do, some of you might never be as rich as some people in this life. But you might not be rich in money, but you might be rich in connection. What you don't have in, in money, you might have in talent. What you don't have in talent, you might have in, in grace, in achievement, in, in so many healing. A lot of us think that uh, you want to achieve something. Do you know every time I wake up in the morning, one of the biggest gifts that we have is life. Hmm. Yeah. It is only those that are alive that can be dreaming. Hmm. Hmm. It is only those that Very are on true. this side of the earth that can be hoping. Hmm. It is only those that are alive that can be aspiring. In fact, it is only those hmm. that are alive that can be jealous of other people's achievements or envious. Hmm. As long as you are here, see your life as a gift and use it judiciously. Mm. because it's not the length of time that we use it's the quality of time that you use mm. that is the most yes, important yes, and we need to build a tribe oh this is the era to build a tribe of people that have similar goals with you so that you don't feel alone in your race I remember that story I don't know if everybody knows that story of that lion that they raised among dogs. He was behaving like the lion for many years because he didn't have any other person to compare his life to. But do you know, the day that lion met with another lion, that was the day his nature was revealed to him. A lot of us that call ourselves children of God, our nature is still hidden to ourselves. Mm. Until you dig deep and you know who you are, that is when you know. That's why they'll say, Equator, yeah, you can't put them in the same cage. That same lion that was brought up with the dogs, that saw the dogs as, bear, as brother and sister, he was that same lion that ate the same dogs. Because he realized yeah. his nature. So, this is a time that we need our community of friends that have like minds, that are, are joined to a, a, in goals, in purpose, in achievement, so that you would find the race easy. And you will have help on the way. Mama. Those are very key things yeah. tonight. Mama. Thank you so much. I hope I've been able to impact you a little because I'm, I'm learning myself. God. Mama, God bless you so much. You brought it down. I see you just summarize what you have been learning from the beginning of the year till now. You brought it down. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's what I tell you. When you see a responsible career woman, when they talk, they talk sense. You know, True you don't you cannot give what you don't have. It's obvious that yeah. this is oh. no, the day I met her. I, I, I was like, I was like, uh, uh. Hey, I hope you just say hi to me. Now. Wow, you know, you are not And you need to embrace me. I mean, Mama, there's a lot about you right now that I'm seeing that I know there's future for this country. There's future for this country. I mean, there's future for this country. And you said something which I want to repeat. I want to quote you tonight, and I want everybody to go home with this. Mama, Yes, ma. Yeah. She said, you might not have it in money, but you might have it in money. Yes. Yeah. Just say what you want. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you so much. Honestly speaking, 
while you were talking, my heart was heavy. My heart was heavy because the words coming, they were they were life. Let me just let me they were life. And this is what we need. I for one, this these are the words that I need to end the year with. I'm so grateful to have you tonight, Mama. Thank you so much from the depth of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Wow. All right. Mama, Thank have a you. great evening. I love you. I love you. I love you. Respect, Mama. Respect. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I just came. I will not lie to you. In fact, I just came from Abuja because of you. I had to just park by the side of the road. And I'm still going to adjust. Oh my God! Let's just allow. We can see what I'm talking oh, about. Just thank you. Thank you. On our way home. Thank you so much. We love yeah. you, Mama. We love you, Mama. Thank, thank you, thank you so, much. so much. So much love, man. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Let's allow. Wow. Thank you. Let's allow her. You can imagine somebody just arrived from wow. Abuja and she still had time for us. Oh my God! There's hope for this country. There's hope for this country. And yes, I want to quickly, is. I want to quickly tonight summarize some of the key words that she said, and I will just be using it in form of questions for all of us because this is the final of the show tonight in the year 2021. And I can tell you, if you don't talk to ourselves this way, no one is going to tell us. We need to remind ourselves that if I don't have this thing in money. I have it in talent. Yeah. If you don't have it in money, yes, you have it in yes, talent. But I yes. love the way she put the word. If you have it in talent, how are you using it? How? Where are you putting it? I mean, mm. I don't care you did this thing in 2021. You have a few weeks to enter into another year. And I want to ask you tonight, how do you want to use your talent? Where do you want to use it? And who are your companies? She mentioned companies. She said, she, I love, well, she even went into Animal Kingdom. She said, a dog will always behave, I mean, a lion will always behave like a, a lion. dog until that lion identifies with the lion. If you don't know what to do at all, the first thing to do after the show, which is the final show for the year, is for you to actually shake yourself. Check it, check it properly. How are you going to use it again in 2022? Same story? Same friends? Same excuses? If you fail, it is your fault. Whom you are has delivered God assignments. To put us through, I started the loan with the guest speaker. Then I try had the values people that have made me to come here to talk to us. I have delivered an assignment. If you still fail, it is your fault. No one is gonna do it for us. You are gonna make for you. It's you. Do it yourself. Stop this excuse. I will tell you this thing tonight. Environmental factor will throw it to your face. One million reasons why you can't do it. But ability for you to follow what Mama Lola taught us to write. Just, just stay on your lane. Mm -hmm. Stop this comparison. Stop this thing. I will shift you. I will leave you if I leave him or her. A relationship that is not functioning. You are just very depending because you don't want her to talk. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. Tonight, I want to beg you. Take that decision. On the show tonight, take this decision after the show. Listen to this clip again over and by again. Save it. Be using it, use it all the time for you to actually make the right decision of the day. For me, I care as deliver God as I went. I say say thank you, Almighty God, for the journey so far. In 2022, so I will still be for thank God. Jesus. How God wants to lead me again, I will follow. Yes, but this year, I am I can probably say. I have delivered yes, the assignment. Yes, yes, and every life that you we have made on this show, please don't depreciate. Don't go back yeah. to it. Those things you have left, don't go back to it. Stay. Please push through. 
when they said it's not possible, that is where you should find yourself trying to see how possible you can make it work. There is no bed of roses, even for my kid, don't have one. She put through life, put through too, and made the best out of it. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. There is no mago mago to success. It's only people that make up their mind. That's yes, ma'am. To life. Yes, ma'am. And in conclusion tonight, family, I've seen everything we have done. I've seen a lot of uh, the, the competition thing. And I want to take I am Caesar. I want to take I am Caesar. Please, everyone, permit me to bring you to go up tonight. I will not take us to the mood of rejoicing. I want to leave us to this mood for us to get our senses straight when we get to our bed. But I just want to say that um, before I do that, I want to quickly bring Daddy up. I think I saw Daddy on invite. I want Daddy to just say a word of prayer. So pray for us. As we are hanging the show, this is the Vice Chancellor of of Lagos, my daddy. Welcome, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. I want Daddy to evening, run sir. the show how we pray out tonight. Yeah, and also give us a bit of his prayers so that we can know that thousands of daddies are watching this show and they're looking at what we can become after my has finished the assignment on this list. Daddy, mm -hmm. good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you today? We are here tonight in all humility. Welcome. We are rounding up with so a very your yes, sir. We are rounding up with a very yes, wonderful program. The presentation of the woman was fantastic. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Very Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So we are here for you to pray for us tonight. This is the final show in twenty twenty one. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Father, we thank you for this wonderful program. We thank you for the revelation that you have given to your daughter concerning this program. We thank you for all the lives that have been touched through this program. We thank you for all the people that have been invited to this platform to minister to all these children so that they can know and they will know that they will be great in life. We return all the glory to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May you continue to be with her in the name of Jesus. We take her from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all these youth that we have touched their lives through this platform and other platforms, we pray that they will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. No evil shall befall them in Jesus' name. Amen. Their destiny Amen. shall not be destroyed. Amen. By the time Amen. we gather again in the year 2022, it shall be with testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you, wonderful Father Lord. In Jesus' you, mighty Father. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, God sir. bless you, sir. Thank Love you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And we are blessed tonight to end the show with our daddy's prayer. And I want to tell you, the only thing you need is God Almighty. But be not. Definitely, sir. Definitely, man. After you have taken all the steps in church on the show, you have followed every principle. You have done everything you know to do best. The only thing left is for you to keep your God Almighty. Mm. You have never known God. You need to know God. There is no there is no corner corner to success. You just need to align yourself to the, source, the maker of destiny. Yes, ma'am. You don't want to be a medical doctor and be a drug addict and you want your dream to be a reality. Mm. I think success and godliness, they work hand in hand. The only thing that matters right now is your life, not people's opinion. So, take that life serious and take it to God. Take it to God. Eh? Take it to God. Yes, ma'am. He's the one that is, is, you know, he says, if you are broken, come to the potter's house. He will mend it. He will mend it. Don't worry where you are right now. He's God, can, God can mend it for you. And you will start afresh. Mm. That is all I have tonight, family. If it Thank goes, you so much, ma. 
I want to appreciate you, my darling. Everything. And I am Caesar. Everything. What an amazing, what an amazing night. I'm thanking uh, uh, Gospel. What an amazing night to see that the three of you actually did wonderfully well to round up the show for us. I want to see if I am, if I'm, if that the Gospel is in the house. The three of you would appreciate you for reposting and do the work of the secretary for us this this yeah uh, this week. Thank you. That the God Such a privilege, man. Want you to invite me, please, so that we can just quickly round up the show. And I want to wish you all happy new year in 2022. I am wishing you all my happy new year in November because we actually started the journey in November. And as far as I'm concerned, from my timetable with God might not really be what you are well, your own timetable. But yes, I know I have delivered what God sent me to do. And I know yes, life has been touched on this show. Come yes, on, Pastor. Yes. Let's invite our song, The Pillar. As that the gospel come on board tonight. Thank you, Father. Ah, for my Yes, mommy. Amen. God is our pillar. God is our pillar. God is our pillar. As you round up the show this year, at this moment, I want to appreciate every one of you that has been on this show with me. I want to thank you so much for your support. I want to thank you so much for your sincere hearts. I want to thank every official family for being amazing. Mm. You guys have been so amazing. And mm, I want mommy. to say that you should watch out for our album. Our album will be dropping soon. Yes. Our yes. Song that can give yeah. that horse to another level, man. Yes, ma. You want to speak to that? I, I, I think they sent me the result already. I'm going to hand it yes, that and I want to wish yes, you best of luck in life. Thank Please. you, ma. Thank you, mom. When next I hear Thank of you, you, let me hear good news. Amen. Be the best person of yourself. Do not encourage yes. this kind of organization or other people around you. Why? If when you identify one, you need to be good. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. And Thank some you so of much, the people ma. have contacted as, as our heart is to be. We are going to, first of all, groom you to what we want you to be before we take you to the public. Mm. Based on the experience of the one we had right now. So I'll be contacting some of you very soon. We're going to groom you first. They will now make you public. So that we won't have the same experience. The one we had right now. I want to tell you all that I love you all. It's been amazing. We love you too. <laughs> we love you too much. Mommy, 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 please allow me allow me to say something before we round up. I, I want to appreciate you, you, mommy. I want to appreciate you because you've been such a blessing. Everybody watching us right now would agree that you are an angel in person. Ever since we've met you, yes. ever since we've been on this show, it has always been positive. I don't want to positivity. Go to that because I promised myself I don't want to go emotional. Mommy, <laughs> thank you so much, ma. <laughs> thank you, ma. Thank you so much, 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 ma. God bless you, ma. I know that you want to bless yourself tonight, but please permit me not to do this. I don't want to come. Okay, ma. No problem, ma. I want us to the only thing you can do for me, if you want to appreciate the effort so far, is for you to be the best version of yourself. 
Mm. I want to be proud of you all when next I hear from you. And I want to tell you that if God still wants me to follow this part of the assignment that you to do, I follow. If God takes me to another path, I, I follow. When I get uh, God fitting on God's assignment, yes, ma'am. And I say, best of luck, everybody. Thank you very much, ma'am. We love you, mommy. We love you, mommy. We love you, mommy. We miss you. Thank you, ma. We love you. Love you, mommy. I appreciate Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mama. Thank you, ma. We love you. Thank you, ma. Cause I will be. Yeah, it's ten o'clock, baby. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, mommy. Goodbye, mommy. Thank you, ma. Good night, mommy. Thank you, ma. Love you.